Hi, I'm Adam. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I do my everyday makeup routine, which just changed slightly here and there, but let's take a look. First, I'm going to go ahead and prime. You want to try to find a primer that is tacky. That way, as soon as you're done with it, you can just go immediately straight in with your makeup. I just use the Nivea Postman Shape Balm. Rub that in. So for me, I always go straight to the eyebrows first. I use my handy dandy brush right here and my Becca concealer in the shade Macadamia. This is the ultimate coverage concealing concealer. Okay, so I just grabbed my mirror and I totally realized that I did not cover up the back of it. So you may see some reflections. So first I take my brush and outline my brow. Now just doing the other brow. So now that both my brows are outlined, I am going to go in with three different pencils. Um, each one is a lighter to darker shade. I like to start with the light ones first and make my way darker. First with my Fiona Styles, this one is the lightest. Lightly go over the brow. few flicks up. And just blend it in with the beginning of the top. Going in with the next shade. This one is It Cosmetics in dark brown. And now the darkest shade to the end. This one is Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown. And voila, that is one brow compared to the other. Um, they're both cute. I love a natural look, but I do like my brow filled. I think it's cute. So now I will repeat on this side. Again, take the Fiona Styles pencil in shade brown ash and start filling in the beginning of the brow and blend it in towards the middle. Going in with the second one from It Cosmetics. Now we are going to do the middle. And now for our darker shade. Okay, so now that the brows are done, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel and just make sure they stay in place. I then take a cream highlighter. This one is from Becca in the shade Moonstone. I get that on my brush. And then I highlight the arch and the end. Well, let's be honest, I do the whole thing. And I do the top of the arch as well. And repeat. And that is it for eyebrows. Now we move on to foundation. We're quickly going to grab the Becca concealer and the handy dandy brush again and do a quick spot conceal. We're going to quickly blend that in with our finger just so it can have just a little heat to blend it in. We still want to keep all the coverage there. And now I take my two foundations, the Lancome and the Estee Lauder. I'm going to do a pump of each. I'm going to go ahead and mix this in with my finger. Go ahead and tap the face. Do a couple dabs. I then take my Beauty Blender and dab away. We're gonna get that nose in between the eyebrows. 
Now, when it comes to the forehead, I personally tend to crease when I put anything on my forehead. So I take the remainder of what's left from the entire face and I go around the area and then slowly press into the area. With the remainder of the foundation, we're going to lightly press on our eyelids. Not only does that, you know, throw it on your eyelids, but also cleans up our highlight. So before I conceal, I always cream contour. I'm going to take my favorite, which was actually in my very first video I ever posted, and I'm going to apply this on my cheekbones. It is the KKW Beauty Contour Stick. I really only tend to use the dark side of the stick and only throw it on the cheekbone area right here. I then take the dark side of the stick and rub it on my hand just for a lighter result and attempt to contour the nose. And we also get the forehead. So now that that is done, we will go in with concealer, which I still always use my Tarte Shape Tape. You don't need to put too much under your eye. Really just three dots, and then make sure you blend outwards in. Do all of the typical areas. This forehead spot is important to me. It really gives a glow to my face. Cut that cheekbone. Cute, cute, cute. I'm now going to quickly blend that out. I'm quickly going to set under my eye with my Laura Mercier powder. Just a light amount with the eyelid too. Then I'm going to set the rest of my concealed spots. And perfect. So now that we are set, I am quickly going to get the powder off of my lips. We're going to go over our brows with our brow gel to get any powder off of them. We're going to dip on into that mascara, which I use two of them. They're both roller lash, but I like the smaller one for the bottom and then the top for the top. Okay, so lashes are done, and I quickly went in with my Physicians Formula, and I just brought a little color back to my face. I'm now going to take my favorite bronzer, which is the Armani Compact, and this one is in shade 6.5, no, sorry, 5.5. It's actually um, a compact, like a setting powder, but since it's darker than the tone that I would need, I use it as a bronzer. I'm gonna dip my brush in there. Pat, pat. Get under the chin. Coming forward. Also tap the forehead. It gives such a nice luminous glow. I'm gonna take it down the sides of the nose just a little bit. So I do also use this as an kind of like an eyeshadow. Um, I love to just add a little color to under my eye. And I take it right to where I did the highlights. Okay, so now that that is done comes my favorite part, which is highlighting. Currently, I have been using my Oprah highlighter. This is in the shade Rodeo Drive. And my... 
Morphe R35 brush. And when I take it to where I naturally get a glow, I also kind of connect it to my eyebrow. Throw it above my brow as well. Cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin. Nose right here, I like. Um, I always finish it with the All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. Always make sure to go over with your damp sponge after you spray your setting spray. Really adds a beautiful luminous glow and helps set it in a lot further into the skin. Okay, so that is how I got this look. Um, it's my usual makeup every day. And now that you've seen it, I am all ready to go film my next video which will be featuring my little Shockmousse Lel Chiquito. This is such a cute bag and I'm so excited to review it with you. So stay tuned. Thanks guys. Au revoir.